Hello everyone. So I'm taping this uh, video uh, because it's gonna be um, gonna get colder for the three days period. And when I say colder, uh, here in Florida, USA, uh, it's gonna drop the around the lowest it can get this coming weekend it's gonna be three days but through those three days one day is gonna be like 29 degrees fahrenheit it's gonna be negative negative one something so this one it dropped before last week for like 35 degrees Fahrenheit so it's equivalent to one to two degrees Celsius so this spike survived um, I'm gonna show you how I wrapped it and hopefully the 29 degrees Fahrenheit is gonna survive so this is uh, attached to my palm tree this is the very first time that it attaches that I decide to attach my orchid and uh, outside and others will be um tougher than this one but this is a plant that i i really like it's this is the name yeah she is very pretty and yeah it's got a lot of roots and the other um orchids are here too but um i know they will survive when i if i cover it but is the spike gonna survive and so this one right here is also has something in there so we'll see I'm at okay and this one hopefully they'll survive but usually th this one does this is more tougher my uh, atom. so I'm gonna show you what I use so there's my my palm So yeah, so they are here and they are exposed to the really cold weather uh, this coming uh, three days. So hopefully they will, despite the spikes is my concern, will survive. All right. This gonna be the ones that I used. This one, these two here is the one that I used when it dropped to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. This one is some kind of a, I don't know, this, I saved this one when uh, nursery shipped me plant and uh, they used this one to protect it from extreme cold and extreme heat. And when you touch it, it actually doesn't absorb the outside of the temperature it stays dry and yeah that's why i like it i said i might use it in the future so i save this one so i wrap my plant with this uh, when it went to 35 degrees fahrenheit and then i also cover it with this so it doesn't there's not direct sun on this area on my plant so it that it won't be um overheated and this even though it's sun will get it i don't think it's gonna get too hot either though it, this one won't get overheated so i use this one i don't even know what's this called you can uh comment below if you know um what this called but this is thicker yeah it's like a styrofoam made of sheets but this time the temperature is gonna drop to negative one or two so i thought maybe i'm gonna wrap i mean i'm gonna stuff the inside of the uh, plant i mean the inside as i uh, cover it with this one this one is i also saved this one uh from the packaging when the nursery sent me they usually s do put this uh, on their um, spikes or buds to protect them. 
so I'll be doing that uh, this time and see if uh, the plant the spike will survive on a 29 degrees Fahrenheit sorry guys if you hear background name uh, my neighbor uh, having uh, their construction there so there's gonna be noises so yep and then use safety pin I use safety pin to um, uh, put them together this one right here and this one you can find um, in Lowe's or Home Depot it's uh, the freeze protection for the plant it is lighter and um, compared to your regular uh, blankets and it's designed to um, for the plant so I like using that yeah and then you can buy it and then save it and reuse it every year so yeah this is very useful to me so we'll see we'll see how it goes um, I did not record the ones that I uh, covered my plant when it was uh, 35 degrees and it survived thankfully so hopefully um, I'm gonna record these guys for you so uh, you know how I do it so um, hopefully you learn also uh, in this video and how to protect your precious orchid so first layer of wrap we put this one and then eventually we have to close that flap so air won't get in cold air won't get in but underneath it we'll see so before we close it we're gonna s stuff it with that plastic look like cotton but it's not actually cotton it's more like a plastic um, yeah I don't know what it's called but but there's the spike so we're gonna be stuffing it with those uh, cotton like plastic and then we'll wrap it with the sheet so yeah I might not be able to show it to you we'll see um, because it's hard to hold to hold it in place okay so this is as much as I can show you because I already stuff it inside and I cannot keep it in place you know without closing the without uh, securing it with a with a um, white cover so anyway yeah it's this one I use just to protect the spike actually but I yeah but just only covering your plant I think it will survive okay first layer is done I don't have a lot of this I think so it's only the top one that's I'm I'm concerned so she's gonna be covered and then the rest will be covered with the sheath sheath that green sheath so yeah I got my stool so I can reach it So there you go guys, um, it's all covered, actually I put two sheets in there, it's folded in half and two sheets just to be sure that cold air won't get in there, so yeah, I don't usually, you can actually just use one sheet, but because I have spikes, I, I'm trying to save the spike, and yeah. I think I have used this one, one more sheet on the bottom. And that's the name of the blanket. The planket. Yeah. And then you wrap it, make sure that no air is gonna get in, cold air. And just use safety pin. Yep. Let's see. okay guys thank you for watching and um i'll be showing you uh the after see if it survived all right wish it luck